Welcome back. Last time we made bushes that explode with cool particle effects and an explosion animation. One cool thing I found that you can do is you can actually hide holes with the bushes, which I really like. So you can actually come over and break them and then, oh, there's a path there I can take. Awesome. Or you can actually set them in a more kind of like sneaky area, whereas if someone actually does end up hitting the block into the bush, it sinks in and you go, hey, what happened? Oh, there's a pathway there. Cool. And there you go. I don't know. Extra little thing I thought that's just kind of a fun thing. And literally all it takes is in level design placing a bush on top of that whole object. All right. Our space here is getting a little cramped. And we are just going to go ahead and move these down to fill up this space here. So I at least have more room on my actual screen that I'm working on. All right, because now we are going to get in the signs. Now, the signs, we're getting back into crunchy territory here. The signs reset the level and give actual information. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to set this stuff up on the objects layout. It'll be a little easier to work with, and then we will copy things over. So first up, let's just put straight in our sign. So we will go down, sprite, sign, insert, Oh, I forget. That's already a built-in thing. So let's just call this, let's just call this sign underscore post. That should work. We will go into our tiny adventure pack. So we're going to load. We will go into other. Oh, yep. It is miscellaneous. There it is. We were, I was already there and I couldn't see it. So we will grab sign open and sign is also 16 by 16 so we're good there we can go ahead and let's just fix that bounding box because that's disturbing and we will set its origin point to the top left okay so now with signs um, they have two different things that they can do they can either give the player information or they can reset the level depending on what type of sign it is so we're going to do a couple of things here. Now with our origin point in the top left, we actually need a couple more origin points to add to this that we're going to use later. So first up, add one new image point. And this one will actually be at x8, y negative 3. Um, that is for displaying messages later. And then we will add one more image point, And this one will actually be at the bottom. So you can right click and set this to the bottom or hit 2 on the number pad of your keyboard. Now that we have all of that set up, we have the bounding box set, we have the origin point. Let's go ahead and duplicate this frame. Right click, duplicate. And we got to do a little bit of drawing. It's not much. We just need to make the reset symbol so we know that there is a reset sign as opposed to a just normal sign. So what we're going to do, grab your eyedropper tool, select this black color over here, select the pencil tool. And to make this pretty simple, it shouldn't, let's see. So you have these, you have the sign post right here. All you gotta do is come up into the sign after this highlight section here and just put two pixels there and then two pixels outside of that. So they're pretty much lined up with the sign post. Then on the left-hand side here, you're gonna go on the corner, just like so. Once more on the corner. And then you're gonna go down two and out two. So down two, out two. And that gives us our first arrow. Now, for the next arrow, um, we're not going all the way to the top. So the easiest thing I found to do is actually grab this, just follow this section here, and be one pixel above. One, two, three. Make this the same length. And we're going to do the same like we did before. Point, point. Just like that. So hopefully that all made sense. Um, it, you can go ahead and just pause and copy it if you need to. Let's go ahead and grab our highlight color here. So we're going to use the eyedropper tool, grab this highlight along the top, grab the pencil tool, and we're just going to drag, we're just going to draw along the top of each of these sections, like so. And now it looks like a reset symbol. That's too much. So now we have our reset sign and our normal sign, and they're just different instances of the same thing. The one thing we need to do is go to animation. We need to set the animation speed to zero. That way it doesn't play through. And I think for the editor, that is all we have to do for this part of the sign here. Now we're going to need to give the sign a shadow. And the easiest way I found to do that is actually to just draw a secondary one and just spawn it in with it. So we're going to use another container with this sign. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and for sign the sign shadow, we will double click. Go down to Sprite, go to 
sign underscore shadow. Click. And let's set its size. So its size is going to be 16 by 6. 16 by 6. Scroll on in. And we are going to go ahead and get our shadow color, which means we need to go all the way to black. We need to change our alpha to 150. And it shouldn't be too difficult. We have six pixels up and down. So we're just going to go up one, two, and do the same on the side. One, two. So we have two pixels right in the middle, two pixels in the middle, and then we can just draw right in between them. And then we're going to come in about, let's see, this is one, two, three. We're going to come in four pixels. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and then over and click on the fifth. One, two, three, four, click on the fifth, just like that. And then we just duplicate that down below. And last but not least, we need to give it a image point. Now this image point, this origin point is actually going to be in kind of a weird spot because we want it to be in line with the actual signs origin point. So we're going to make this X zero and Y negative 13. Seems like a weird spot to have it. Um, oh, it's probably hard to see. So it's right up here. Probably hard to see, but uh, that makes that a little easier. So if we close out of here, we can see its origin point is actually this point right here, and we can set it up and it lines up nicely with the actual sign. So excellent. Last thing we need to make is the sign checker. Just like we did with the hole, the sign will actually have a checker itself. And this thing is another thing that we won't really see. So we can go ahead, double click, sprite, sign underscore check. And let's check these and change the size. So first width is going to be 16. Its height will be 32 by thir or 32. It will be double the size of all of our other objects. As you can see, my origin point went all wacky. We can go ahead and just quickly put that to the top left. And then let's just fill it in with a color. You can once again pick any color you like. It does not matter. Um, my alpha is still on and I don't care. So we can go ahead and leave that. Last thing, make sure that the bounding box is set around, and that's all we got to do with that. So now that fits in there. So let's get this stuff all in and working. We can at least get them in and spawning. We'll set up how to actually make the sign show and display text next time. But for now, let's go ahead and just get this all put together. So select the sign, go to the properties panel, select container, create, and we are going to pick sign check, click OK. And then we're also going to add object. So go back over to container, add object, and we will add sign shadow. So now when we put this in, so now if I just select the sign, you see that these two highlight, but I can move the sign independently. So I'm going to control C to copy the sign. Let's go over into game or into the game layout, press control V and place it in. Now I can put in multiple signs here. And if I click save and hit play, just hit save because that's the default, you can see our sign checker showed up as well as our shadow for each of them. Um, and that makes that super convenient for doing level layout. But we don't want the sign checker to be visible. So again, we're going to go back to objects, select sign check, come on down, initial visibility. Let's make that unchecked. And what we want to do is go back into our e-game on start of layout. Let's just go to sign shadow. Scroll all the way down and move to layer, and we will move it to layer shadow. That way it'll just be underneath everything all at once. And we can go ahead and check the game again. And there we go. Now our signs look all good. They're sitting out. Right now they don't do anything because we haven't coded them and they're <laughs> walkthrough. <laughs> we forgot to put a solid on them, uh, but they look good. So let's go ahead and add the solid behavior to the sign sign behavior add behavior solid they will always be solid we don't need to worry about that and next time we will get into the extra crunchy part of adding in text and the sprite font so i'll see you then